If you drop a like on this video in the next 3 seconds, then the girl or the guy that you like will instantly fall in love with you the next time you see them. Hi guys, if you guys are new to the channel, I'm Sky. I upload daily GTA 5 videos, so if you guys love to watch GTA 5 videos or just love to get rich on the game, I highly recommend you guys go ahead and subscribe to the channel and turn on your notification. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys a solo money glitch that anyone watching this video will be able to do. Recently, I've been posting a lot of glitches and you guys keep saying, Sky, I love these glitches because anyone can do it. I don't need anything expensive such as an arena, a bunker, you don't need any of that. But I require a friend. I hate the fact that I require a friend. Can you please post a similar glitch to this? but does not require anyone. Well, here you guys have it. This glitch does not require anyone and does not require anything expensive. I highly recommend you guys watch the video till the end because the glitch overall becomes double the money if you actually do the glitch which I will show you guys at the end of the video. So I highly recommend you watch it till the end. Other than that, let's not waste any more time and let's get straight into it. Hope you guys enjoy. So to begin with today's video, first of all, I highly recommend you guys watch the video till the end and then make up your mind if you want to do this glitch or not because I know if you're poor on GTA, this is the best working solo money glitch for you. Now that's out of the way to begin with this glitch, there is literally nothing you guys will require. The only thing you guys will require is yourself and a GTA 5 disc to start it up. Now once you actually load into GTA 5, make your way to an invite only session. Now, if you guys want to do this glitch even quicker than I did in the gameplay, then what I recommend you guys do is load into a solo session. If you guys don't know what a solo session is, so you're the only person that can be in the session. And what that means is you guys will actually load into the session even quicker. So whenever I load into the invite-only session while doing the glitch, you guys just need to load into a solo session. Now, once you're in the session, what you guys need to do is you need to make your way to this location on the map. So when you go into the map, you just need to make your way to this location where there is a convenience store right next to you now once you're at this location you can come on a bike car doesn't really matter but once you're at this location, the first thing you guys have to do is get off the bike or the car, then open up your interaction menu, make your way to spawn location, and set your spawn location as last location. This is really, really important for the glitch to work. If you don't put it to last location, this glitch is not going to work. Now get off the interaction menu, make your way into the store on foot. Once you guys are inside, pull out a gun and rob the store. Simple as that. Make sure you actually let the guy actually pull out the money. Don't actually try to take the money yourself because sometimes it gives you a little bit less so just let him take the money out give him some time and once he takes the money out all you need to do is pick up the bag and then you guys will receive the money simple as that you just need to let him put the money down pick it up and you guys can move on to the next step of the glitch so as you guys can see as soon as he put the money down i just killed him because i wanted to pick up the money from his pocket as well but once you guys actually pick up the money all you need to do is you need to run out of the store then take a left turn and make your way down to the alley which I did in the gameplay. Then put yourself on cover and then you guys need to bring up your pause menu, go to online and load into creator mode as fast as you possibly can. Once you load into the creator mode, all you need to do is bring up your pause menu, make your way to online, go to play online and load into a solo session or an invite only session. In the gameplay, I went with an invite only session but I would recommend the solo session just because of the fact it does load you in a little bit quicker. Now once you load into the brand new session, all you need to do is just rob the store again because you put your spawn location to last location you're gonna spawn really close to the store you just need to go in again go ahead and rob it and then you guys will make more money now you guys are like sky okay this is cool and all but it doesn't seem like a big money glitch i don't think it's gonna make me so much money well, this time when I actually load into the session, I want to actually put down a timer for you guys to see. So as you guys can see, I entered the store, the timer starts on the right bottom. Now I'm going to go ahead and rob the store. I'm going to keep the timer going until we are load into a brand new session and I can go ahead and rob another store. I just want to show you guys that you can actually rob stores really quickly once you get used to it. And there is few factors that will make it even quicker. So as you guys can see, I'm just waiting for the cash register guy to actually take all the money out. And once he takes all the money, Money out he will drop it I'll pick up the money and once I pick up the money all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and go to the other side so you know I'm just gonna walk out the store take a left turn and go sit behind the cover and once I'm sitting behind the cover I just need to load into creator and load into a brand new invite only session 
Now there are two factors that can make this glitch quicker or slower. For me, my internet is terrible. If you guys have a decent internet, what is going to happen is you guys will load into the invite only session a little bit quicker. That means the timer on the right bottom for you will be a little bit less. For me, I think it takes me about a minute 29 seconds before I can rob the store again. For you guys, you should be able to average about a minute. If you live in America or UK, you should be able to average around a minute or even less than a minute because you guys have such good internet. I live in New Zealand, it takes a little bit longer for me to load in. And the second factor is if you load into a solo session. If you guys load into a solo session, you will load in a little bit quicker and make more money over time. Now you guys will be like Sky, okay, $2,000, $3,000 every minute, that still doesn't seem like a lot. What if I tell you guys that you can actually include a glitch inside of this whole thing to make even more money? So if you actually do the glitch which I'm about to show you guys, then you should be able to make around six dollars to $8,000 every minute. To do the glitch, what you guys need to do is first of all, you guys need to pull out a gun and make sure that the guy actually goes ahead and tries to take the money out. When he's taking the money out you need to go on the left side of the guy so as you guys can see I just climbed over the counter now you need to stand very close to him and soon as you guys see the guy hold the money bag with two of his hands you need to press circle or B if you're on Xbox to smack the guy with your gun and soon as you smack him you need to start spamming right on the d-pad what you guys will notice is soon as you smack him you guys will receive the money so as you guys can see 2,000 there and you will take more money from the cash register so what is going to happen is you're gonna make double the money that you were supposed to make as you guys can see the glitch just becomes so much better because you just made double the money that you're supposed to make now the steps for this glitch are exactly the same after you made the double money so just make your way out of the store go over to the corner or the alleyway and then you can load into creator mode load into a brand new invite only session or the solo session and then you guys can rob the store again but if you guys just implement this into your glitch then what will happen is you guys will make the double money and obviously it will be a lot quicker for you guys to make the money now if you guys will be like sky it still doesn't seem like a lot well let's do some math so let's say every minute so because you're in internet is quick and you're loading to solo session on average you should be able to do this glitch every minute every minute you're making seven thousand dollars so you're averaging around three thousand dollars from the cash register and three thousand dollars from the bag that he drops so you make around seven thousand dollars every minute if you times seven thousand with sixty that comes to $420,000 and that's how much money you can make on GTA 5 online for just doing this glitch for one hour. If you do it for a whole day, then you should make around $10.8 million or $10.08 million. You just literally have to keep repeating the glitch again and again and you guys will keep making the money. As you guys can see, overall, this glitch is extremely easy, and if you're poor on GTA, this is probably gonna be the best glitch for you. Now, this skill is a little hard to master, where you have to hit the guy and steal the cash register. Sometimes you won't hit it, but once you get used to it, you should be able to hit it every single time. Trust me guys, once you get used to this money glitch, this is probably going to be the go-to money glitch for the people who are poor on GTA 5. Now at this point, if you guys are looking for cheap, reliable and extremely fast cash on GTA 5 online, I highly recommend you guys go ahead and check out GTA 5 Boosting. They will provide you guys with really cheap cash. For like $20, you can get yourself $10 million on GTA 5 online. So if you do want to check them out, the link to their website will be in the description. Now at this point, I just want to give you guys a disclaimer about a new money glitch that I might be uploading tomorrow I know you guys hate it when I make hype videos that's why I'm just talking to you guys about the glitch at the end of this glitch now if you guys want me to upload this the glitch is exactly the same but it will require an MOC if you do have an MOC then that glitch is gonna be so much quicker than this one and it's gonna make you so much more money as obviously you're doing the glitch a lot quicker every 10 seconds you should be able to pull in like three or four thousand dollars if you want to see the glitch make sure you guys go ahead and drop a like on it and also let me know down in the comment section that's guy I want to see the money glitch which makes me $4,000 every 10 to 20 seconds and if I see a lot of people talking about it tomorrow you guys will receive the glitch other than that thank you so much for watching this video today hope you guys did enjoy if you guys did make sure you guys go ahead and drop a like on it also if you guys are new to the channel I highly recommend you guys subscribe and turn your notification for daily GTA 5 videos 
Also, at this point, if you guys don't already follow me on Twitter, I highly recommend you guys go ahead and do so. I will link it down in the description. I do post a lot of updates on what is going to come out on my channel, what kind of glitches you should expect in the few weeks or the coming week. Trust me, if you guys want to stay up to date with me, I highly recommend following my Twitter. And other than that, make sure you also join my Discord server. Link will be in the description. The Discord server has like 8,000 members. So if you ever need someone to help you out with like glitches and stuff like that, or if you ever want to get in contact, contact with me i highly recommend you join the discord server you can dm me i leave my dms open for my discord server because you guys are so amazing now if you guys made it till the end of the video i want you guys to write sky in the comment section if i see anyone writing that i will give you guys a heart because i do appreciate you guys supporting the channel and also supporting your brother and listening to what i have to say also there is one more question that i have for you guys do you guys enjoy card duplication glitches it's just i've got a lot of review about those recently where people but like Sky, I don't really like card duplication glitches because they're so long and they annoy the heck out of me. Just let me know down in the comment section the answer to that question. Other than that, thank you so much for watching this video today. Hope you guys all have a wonderful day ahead and I will see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.